Hey everybody, welcome back to Velocity Performance. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, record the resistances on uh, temperature sensors. Uh, this one I'm working on is an intake air temperature sensor and a coolant temperature sensor. Uh, I'm gonna be changing the temperature, recording the resistance, the map out what the resistance, resistance is per uh, change in temperature. If you come around on this side, I will show you how I have this set up. So I've got my two multimeters here, both of them set the resistance. I've got the sensors, both sensors in this pot of water with ice with a digital uh, thermometer. And what I'm going to be doing is um, starting it off at 32 degrees, taking the resistance reading, and I will be warming up the water to sort of map out what the sensors do. Uh, as far as resistance at different temperatures, so that way I can map it out and put the readings into the mega squirt. Um, so that way it properly knows what the intake air temperature is and the coolant temperature is to adjust the uh, fuel and other options. So I'm gonna get this going and I'll be back when I got a few more readings and show you all what's going on. All right, so uh, we've got our full measurements from the testing. Um, so what we did was increase the temperature as we went and took our recordings, um, just showing the pictures of each recording that we did. Uh, just sort of took pictures, wrote stuff down as we went. That way there is no, or less chance of messing it up. So, yep, there's those pictures and then what I'm going to move on to now is an actual table of graphing those numbers that we received. So uh, here is the graph I did, or the, the input numbers for the graph. And as you can see, as the temperature decreases, resistance increases. Uh, so here's the intake air temperature. And it started at 32 degrees. It was 4.90 kilo ohm and it ended at 0.21 kilo ohm. Now the coolant temperature sensor was right on its heels. It's, they're pretty, pretty similar. And if we roll over to this graph I made, this line graph, um, you can see that it pretty much follows everything almost identical between probably 110 and 200. Kind of falls off a little bit, but they're still pretty close except for this one area. Now it could be just a recording thing, uh, you know, just sensors aren't always 100% accurate, so it's just, it's close enough. So what we're going to do is actually take the information from this graph. I'm going to take three plots or three points from this plot and use it in Tuner Studio. So I went ahead and uh, I'm in my Celica um, tuning uh, Tuner Studio setup and I'm going to go to tools over here and uh, if the calibration isn't unlocked um, you're going to have to unlock it so normally you have to unlock it so I just undid it and redid it again just to kind of show you guys what's up so uh, once that's been unlocked you're going to have calibrate thermistor tables and calibrate AFRs uh, we're going to stick with the, the temperature stuff for now uh, what I'm going to do is pull up the coolant temperature sensor, three-point uh, generator. Uh, your bias resistor is based off what is inside the ECU. If you didn't mess with it, it should be the same number. And keep it as Fahrenheit. And what we're going to do is take the three points that I pulled up. So we're going to do 32 degrees. Uh, we're going to do 100 degrees. And we're going to do... 210. So uh, the resistance values was is going to be um, for the coolant temperature sensor 5,850 ohms. Then 100 degrees is 1,320. Then the final reading that we're going to use is 190. So. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to write it to the controller. My, my uh, computer is currently not hooked up to my car, so it's not going to let me do it. Um, so, currently offline. 
So what I'll have to do is do this once, at the, once I'm hooked up to the car, I'll have to actually insert this stuff and we'll go over that at a later point. I still have to go over setups on the car itself. Um, and then you're gonna go to air temperature sensor and we're gonna do the same things, but use different readings. So this one is going to be 32, 100, and then 210 again. And then the values I'm using for this one is 5,900. Then this one will be 1320. And then this one will be 190. And like I said before, write the controller, but it's not going to do it because my car's not hooked up. So, so that's going over the intake air temperature sensor and the coolant temperature sensor. I just kind of want to go over that in this video. Um, it's a whole lot easier to just go ahead and buy the GM intake, intake air temperature sensor and coolant temperature sensor. Uh, that takes a 3 ace MPT uh, bung though. So if you don't have that or if you don't feel like modifying your car, you can use your factory stuff, but it's it's a whole lot easier just to use something that's pre-set up because with everything I did in this video, I probably had an hour and a half in you know making sure the temperature's set up properly, checking resistances. It's a very time consume, you know, it, it takes a lot of time to do it and do it right. So really I recommend anybody doing this anything with their sensors, unless you're on a budget, which the GM stuff really isn't that expensive. But just, just buy the stuff because it makes things a lot more reliable and better in the long run. But it is possible. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I have more videos coming up on this Mega Squirt install for this car. And uh, kind of take you guys along the way. Kind of show you how to do it. And that way if you have to do it on your car, maybe uh, I'll be able to help you out. Um, getting everything set up the first time properly is a big thing for getting on the dyno or road tuning really too. I mean just you gotta make sure everything's set up and good otherwise you'll start finding you'll have issues so coolant temperature, intake air temperature especially on a turbo car you gotta make sure that those intake air temperatures are set up properly so hopefully that helped you guys um, so keep an eye out for the next Megascore video and I'll see you guys then. Thank you.